aim for you. Uh, but we'll go with co-op then. Honestly, that's the minutes, and then they run out of regen, and it's a good. He mets it, and then he's also good at Roshi with his ultimate. That's qualifies these Vipers and more. It's clockwork. It's got a spare mango. Obviously, he's not even using mango inefficiency. Gotta save him, man. Save him for when it's important. Is she going after 33? As a level one purification only with a DJ and aura. Uh, he's got over Venom too. This is pretty bad for Cog's coming off cooldown right now. He can mango and have him back up again. Locks both of them underneath the tier one tower. But it does give first blood to Jabs. They'll cut their way free. And then head up. PPD. Move with them. Uh, thanks to the fact he built the creep wave down. The side camp got pulled up by Jabs. Uh, and kept out. Mushi. Real issues on bottom lane. The homing missile's coming his way. No rage available. Back under the tower. Fairy fire. As much life as he can get. Pycat enfeebled up. Takes a lot to get him down. And thanks to the brain side from Ninja Buki, Pycat will die underneath the tier 1 tower. But this is going to be a large amount of experience going to Ninja Buki and not going to the lifesteal of Mushi. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was worth it. It, it looked like it was a great uh, dive opportunity. And they. Got the kill, but dying for it as well is not usually worth it on a carry. Why does Jabs always get these rotations onto CC and C? This time around, though, he just TPs out, as PPD was also in the neighborhood. I think they actually could have killed him there. If the It would have cost CC and C a mango. He would have level 2 Scream of Pain, but... Moon would have had to level up Rockets as well. Right now, he's still holding those two points. Blink in, CC and C has Scream. Okay. And we'll kill off Moon, so aggressive ward as well behind it. Struggle, struggle is a bad player. You're like, I can use my spells to get last hits, but if I do it pushes the lane, then I'm out of mana, then I don't get killed. Yeah. It's just a, a, a big cascade. Th then we League of Legends, people. Jabs on the run after Pycat and Zai, and uh, it's enough to dissuade them from continuing the pressure onto Ice Ice Ice. Poor damage, 15 hold. Oh, we got a last deal with it. Nick. Nice. Damn it, we didn't catch up him. Come on. Ganked that creep. Critical miss. Critical miss. Cogs are down. Zai actually in a lot of hurt. Jabs is that level 2 battery assault that's doing the work. Zai, he will fall. Ninja Boogie comes in to help out. Oh. He can. I can. Where's the damage? It doesn't exist. He was so close. Was, oh, one more. That's all it's going to take. Then Bane shows up, instantly turns thing around. Peter, sad he was not here. Could have been there for the kill. He says, says, wants to get the heal off for the last sets. He does. Peter is just back to last city. Peter's landing stage has seemed all right. Not amazing, but okay. Just, uh, I don't know. It's, it's not that influence you really heavily expect from an Undying, but they have a chance now on top lane. Repel is up, but it won't matter. The Donk is still going to connect. And Pycat will take the kill onto Ice, Ice, Ice. I, mean, I don't think he's doing anything. Still, still a good hero, potentially. You know, he's going to be getting multiple points of Sora now. Jumping in towards mid. Moon, underneath the tower. He's dropping low on the Sonic Wave. CCNC really wanted to get that kill before him. Knight could do anything about it. And, well, Ice 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 really committed to it. He's like, wait, 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 wait. I shouldn't be getting hit here. Mushi finally reclaiming his own safe lane, at least. Um, uh, Ice 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 is claiming bottom lane. PPD is on the run. That's two points up in decay. Yes. Difficult to run away. Here comes 33, but the purification from Ice 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 will find that kill. He'll start to get his strength back pretty shortly. Fall down from Pycat, create space against Mushi and Jabs. Jabs. Peter's uh, Undyne at this stage is not nearly as effective because you're very reliant on like. Oh my god, Zai. They're using the 10 minute bounty runes as bait. Yes, they don't. See who has that sonic wave off cooldown in one second time, and they have the vision up the hill onto Jabs. The cogs won't protect him from that, and they actually drag him back into another set of cogs. This one. Belonging to Zai. Hookshot tries to create space. Here comes the rockets Huge. in. They have the control from Ninja Boogie. So it's a one for one trade off support for Core. Getting rid of the tombstone. Nightmare wears that off on PPD. Decay is off cooldown as well, so they can turn around to a little bit of extra chip. No, cannot reach them in time. We're going into shapeshift. 33 is looking for a kill on the ISI size. Queen of Pain still has the Sonic Wave, and there's GA. Uh, Repel's coming off cooldown right now, so at least you can block off a little bit of that magical damage. Jabuki's nearby, he'll need to give a nightmare protection, but he is not in range. It'll work with the Lycan, four points up in the Feral, in the feral Impulse. You can oh, jump, oh, hang on, jump forward! Hulk shot forward, perfect grip from Ninja Boogie, nowhere! For that Queen of Pain to go. As they laser out, 33 is kind of in no man's land. With no shapeshift, he can't just jump away. The Rubik will get a three-man stun, but it won't really help him. On tower, they get there, and it looks like everything's fine, but great gank um, angle that they took to, to move in on that. Now, Ice 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 says she just chases down PPD, goes into ultimate form, he's got tubes in a battle, he'll drop it down. Ice 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 decides to just repel. He forced a hell of a lot out from PPD, that was meant to be his support tinker, BTing in at the moment, but he uh, cannot arrive in time to help out.
quick. Are they coming in? Jabs. Hook shots available, but the minions of 33 were blocking the line of fire. And Zai, well, he'll get a Telkis grab up. Picking him up. When is this life still going to come out? I think he's going to come out right now because he's losing jabs. Jabs could not be delivery. Zai, so low on life. The Ray tries to protect him, but it will not be enough. Moon's rockets just flying from in front of this tower, and there's no way for Optic to get through that. It's a double wave of March to the machines, and then Tinker just keeps on coming into the trees. And this allows Manessi to take these objectives with a lot of support. And Mushi's going to really right click heavy build. Uh, Onslaught straight into Deso. They don't have very good tower hitters. Manessi, then Jabugi is visible to the wolf. So 33 may feel like he's going to fight, but then two out of the cover of smoke. PPD will drop the tube. So Ninja Boogie just holds his ground. C, C, and C. It's a great tonic wave into a scream, locking in Manessi. The worst choke point they could have asked for. But the Omni Knight, he's the best healer they could have asked for. Mushi needs to arm the toggle so hard. C, C, and C blinks out for the cooldown and the damage from Pycat. It'll be enough. They have the control factor. In order to keep them controlled, it was the purge creep I think that was in there too, so no way to run away for Ice Ice Ice. No protect block. You don't have the Greaves to give everyone life back. Well, the mech. Hook shot. Hello. Found their target. Oh, it's Pycat. Like actually locked him in the cogs, but yeah, Mushi jumped out too early. He oh, didn't go in with jabs. I've seen something like this recently. I think it was maybe EG that did it. It's like the, their reaction was so good that they jumped up before the clock actually got there. Like, oh, this is it. This is our opportunity. And it looked pretty good, but Pycat gets a BKB off, gets left behind, and that's a that's a dead clockwork. This so. is really problematic. Clockwork will buy it back. He can rock it into the pit so they can at least get some information. Ice, ice, ice nearby. The Greaves is up. What's going to be stolen by the Rubik is Purification. Extra life. Roshan, so low. They don't have that cover fire of the March Machines, but Ice, ice, ice. Looks like he still wants to go in. So does Mushi. In through the back lines, but they have to get rid of the tombstone that's inside the pit. Maybe they don't. Fiend's grip from Ninja Boogie. They're controlling the gyrocopter, but he's the one with the Ego C portal. So huge damage from Pyke, they never finished the job. C, C, and C hits the sonic wave. Tinker will buy back. He knows he needs to be here. So I'm optic forcing any more towards that tier. This combination with jabs just needs to be so much stronger. Obviously, as he said, like it didn't go their way with the reflex being too fast from Mushi, but now they get information on top. Hook shot forward, they pop off side so quickly. They don't actually know they do the cops push back PyCat. TP cancelled. This is huge for him because PyCat's so far away from friends. Not only will they pop the Aegis, they can actually get the follow-up. The rest of Optic is coming, but Master Machine is down. PyCat will BKB. He's coming underneath the tier one tower, but no one is near him to help out. Maneski. Killing off Gyro twice over, and they stop any kind of advantage to understand. Oh, the second is actually on. Finds Tinkerbox. Oh, that's a huge pickup with the Sonic well, Wave. Goodbye, Moon. It was, it was actually so much money. It was more like Moon found CCC. CCC is a side shot. Tinker blinks right on top of him, and CCC's like, oh, I've got an Arcade. Cool. All right. I'll take that kill. And what were we saying before that? Sorry. Uh, two Blink Tankers picked up, but the other one's actually on 33. It's on the Light Gate. Okay. That's so, new. Yeah. Thought, thought that would kind of tickle your fancy a why, little bit. Why buy boots when you could just get a blink dagger? Yeah, why have high movement speed as wolf bomb when you could buy a blink dagger? Ninja Boogie, oh, the whole shot, gonna miss his target. The Fiend Scrims out on CC and C. He'll break free with that BKB. They try and create space with Jabs' cogs, but just walk around in this tombstone from PPD and the Decay. The They're taking away the life. They just can't walk out of this. Maneski rooted to the ground. We're now playing stuck in the mud. Ninja Boogie CP just in time. Successful. You just get on top of him. Difficult to do, however. Definitely hard, but Blink is going to be good. Definitely. Fiend's Grip is out, and oh, goodbye, nice. PPD. Just, just PPD. And that's only his second death. Yep. He's playing worse this game. Northern. It's even better now. He just has to cast Tomb and then die to get a second Tomb out. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Oh, hot shot. Found the target. PPD, what do you get? Nothing. Absolutely. <laughs> but it just his death tomb. That's, uh, that's, that's what you get. And another 200. <laughs> but PPD died. Directly attacking him. Optic are all grouped up around the mid lane. I think they're hoping for a smoke. They've still got two smoke of deceits on Undying. And they're able to do it. They didn't get Lycan, which I think wasn't the intention. Yeah. He was just a little bit too far out of range of it. But then the pickup down towards mid to Jabuki being isolated. But they want the Omni Knight. He's almost the primary target. But how do you kill him? He repels up and then Jabs gets the hook shot in. The two turn is down. 33 goes for a run a little bit further north. Ice 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 giving the life towards Jabs. Here comes the NC. The Sonic Wave will fly out. The GA will not protect you from this. Not to mention the double damage rune as GA will wear off. Mushi can't survive. Optic will claim three. In fact, they got four. The buyback came from Jabs. And the rocket followed him all the way back up again. So they get the information with the rocket, but they can do little to nothing about it. Maybe 
unless Moon's gonna start spamming in rockets with the Clockwork Vision, but that's it. And Undyne is making such a big impact this game. Like, with Tombstone down, Mineski just doesn't have the time to kill it. They have this super limited melee carry in terms of how much time he has. He presses Rage and he has six precious seconds and he needs to get a kill. He does not have the time to hit a Tomb. Yep. Even still, Peter... I'm just trying hard enough to keep everyone else alive. Yeah, or be busy right-clicking himself. Everyone is busy yep. on the side of Mineski. Not that that fight started in a great way. It was... They um, found a target. Bane across the river. CNC and C jump in. They're just going to control him up a little bit longer. Zai. Oh no! The hook shot from Jabs on target. CCNC can play from the trees. The blade mail. They don't want to hit too heavy into Jabs. Okay, maybe they do. His TP out will be successful. The Tinker Rockets. Zai needs a blink. Doesn't have it on cooldown for one second. He wanted to try and disjoin it, but did not have the time. Yeah, switches is no field trying to. Well, the bottom tier 2 tower is what Ice 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 wants to claim. It's very low on life. In deny range for Optic. But it's Mineski that wants the money for it, and that's why Pycat is moving very quickly down. Tinker starts his TP in, the creep dies very quickly, and they do not have... Well, maybe they do. With the Tombstone down, they have the opportunity to kill off the Omni Knight. No other oh, on that exactly. front. It's like the anti-mobility item that oh, he needs. And speaking of Bushi, the gank is on. 33 jumps in, they just keep him perched up with the Sonic Wave. They did not want to let him infest into that neutral. And then looking for more. 33 running. Everything's fine. HTP's down, Moon's in the tree lines, Shiva's, oh, actually CC and C BKB's. I don't blame him in the slightest. Why is a lifestealer next to his base? <laughs> like, of course you pop your BK, like... It's a good question. There's definitely gonna be a Fiend's grip if he doesn't get out of there, like, that, that was a safe play. Oh, he catches him finally. Oh, that's Hex the though. opening they needed, so Moon, yep. Hex, laser, starts the TP out with the channeling, and successful! <laughs> Tinker is away! And the hook shot. Well, Jazz wants to come in again after Tinker regenerates. And the life still in the neighborhood. Can they reach with Ninjabuki looking for the Fiend script? Doesn't have it. Pycat now turns on the butterfly. Reese reduces the distance. Blade mount from Jazz will protect him for a little bit longer, but they all get over on Mushi. He can't attack. He can't survive. They have to keep him alive. Ice 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 dropping everything he's got. Mushi, he now has to armlet toggle back to base. Ice 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 tank through so much. Maybe they have it with the wave of the Master Machines and the Dagon's Optic. Have you come in too deep? You've taken two huge kills. Kills, but how the Exafrag stolen GA protect them as much as they can. Zion's low, there's no vision on him, so that rocket will not connect. Oh. Surprisingly, even fight actually. Against a life stealer, he's never had any survivability things. Against a tinker, it's oh, perfect. PPD is giving the sacrifice again. He gets Double two baby down and he gets his ultimate off, so they can actually four times away. Ninja Boogie, so much damage. He'll be protected by only half a second thanks to Nightmare. Jabs as well with the flat cannon. It does not matter when Pike has got all the regeneration in the world as he lets the damage go. Jabs will finally fall. Moon, he's being hunted. That's They're trying to catch up to him, and Moon, he just can't run. He raised TP's out as Moon underneath the wave. Yeah. He will go down. Maneski, one player left alive, and it was Mushi, who was kind of the absent one, not by choice. And buyback for money. Um, three three's got hit. It's, there's a refresher. That's triple two, baby. Here we go. And jump in towards the mid. Mushi orchid it up. He's having to be nightmare to protect this life stealer. That's not the way this is meant to work. Zai, Rage jumps forward, and the infestation of the melee group, they pick it up and try and pull him back close enough, but. Life Stealer will be into relative safety, but now no infest of 40 seconds. Fortification will buy time, Tinker fires back. They need his range spam. They need the Marsh Machines to stop Optic from diving in too deep. They need to have some level of cover fire, but when that flat cannon reaches so deep to almost the tier four towers, how do you even fight this? Moon's just rocket spamming with the jump forward. Zai grabs him, and that's the big one. Nightmare for protection, but it will not last. Tinker's down, no buyback available. Ice 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 will follow, and this should almost be the game right now. They've got no tier two towers to stop Optic from claiming all three lanes of Rax. And I don't think they've got enough strength in their lineup anyway. Their only form of damage is Lifesteal, so... Uh, GG. Not quite yet. <laughs> Two Pretty ranks much. now. Oh, shot. Now they jump. Lifesteal got delivery. Four star. 33 gets a little bit of extra space. CCC through the back line. Orchid over on Ninja Boots. And there's no fiend script. There's no control. And once again, Pycat just has the perfect position. Jabs. He's protected by Ice Ice's GA. But this now wears off. Ninja Boogie on the run. Live Stealer spends all of his time chasing the tail of Pycat. But he ain't getting this. He is not getting anything. The buyback is there from the Bane. Two lanes of racks down, but Opticon done yet.
And they're doing everything they can to hold on here, but they just can't deal any damage anymore. So the right click of life zone is just kind of falling off, especially against like a butterfly gyro pump. It's got Aegis and everything. Hey, at least they got rid of the uh, the orchid thanks to the repel of Ice Ice Ice, but 33 jumps in right to the back line. Sister Boogie, target number one for him. He wants that die back on the Bane. They break him free with his minion unit. Meanwhile, Life still running inside of a wolf. No life on Mushi at all. He can buy back. That'll give him another 100%, but. How long does this last before Manessi admit the inevitable? Mushi runs forward, you can at least break the Lincolns on Pycat. I mean, this is their last stand here. They've got Fiend's Grip, they could grab Zai at least. 14 but... seconds till Tinker. There, there is the grab. Zai will fall. No buyback available for him. Eight seconds until Tinker. The tier 4 towers are under attack. No, well, actually, the beer is a BKB for Pycat, but he's also got the Aegis Immortal. Are Optic being safe about this? It looks like it. They are all retreating. It's time to play safe. Uh, that's a that or uh, Battle Fury. Maelstrom is probably a little simpler. Which means he has to keep switching. Yeah. But uh, Optic are being very, very cautious about this. They can just wait for the third Roshan. Uh, he may spawn up in two minutes' time. Here's what uh, Ninja Boogie's playing here. Like it. Oh, Jump forward. Regrets. Found his target. Gets the hex off. Damn, that damage is high. Moon, GA, and Repel both have to be used. PPD jumped along with him with a four star. Moon has the distance. The Undying Zombies are chasing him as far in as they possibly can go. More Hexes. This one's on Tamushi as they control up jabs. The pick up from Zai, CC and C. Looking for the perfect Sonic Wave and they're pretty well lined up for it. Hitting on three. Jabs will fall and they cannot get away. Not from Pycat, not from the call down. They are in their bouncer. Regeneration's fast and they still have a Tinker alive. So spam is possible. Keep the rockets coming. But the, the, the Ancient is under attack. Creep Wave, Necro units. Pycat's ready to attack. The Fiend's is out. They find the kill. Two players down there, both the supports. Can they deal with the cause as well? Way too much. The throne will explode. And Optic Gaming takes.